Good evening time, everybody. Please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. Um, we'd like to invite you to join our YouTube channel members, Patreon channel members, discounts, giveaways, perks, all that good stuff. Check out our merch store. Check us out on donkeystomper.com. Alrighty, guys, this is a pre-video for a friend of mine. Uh, it's 1,000 V2 by 8. Alright, buddy, I know you put your power supplies in here, these upgrades and stuff. These are great. I did notice you went 220, which is a great idea. Uh, this strap bro, these things will never wear in shipping. Don't care about that much wire being on there. So first thing I was gonna do is shorten all them wires, rewire this, put the power cords right on the breaker and tie them together. And then tie the white together on this side and shorten them up. That'll give you a little more amperage on the AC side. Then I was gonna use these beer brackets to mount your power supplies. So they'll be nice and mounted down in there right like it's supposed to be. And I'll do all of this completely. And uh we're gonna do that. We'll get your pair fixed up on your power supply, rewire these, and just do some rewiring and bolt them down as far as the DC side, I'm fine with that. Strap them down really tight though, like they're supposed to be with the beard brackets. Then we'll come over here to your box side, and I know you're having trouble. This resistor right here has been hot, obviously. So that means more than likely one of these four transistors are blown. Anyway, now we'll be able to tell that if it had the right resistors in it. So I'm gonna put, change all the 10 ohms back out to the quarter watt 10 ohms, do away with them, put mine back in there. That way I can tell which pills blow. Then I'll probably, which I'm cool with the way you move these down here, but I'm gonna go ahead, I, I'm gonna check these, these maybe 104s, I'm not sure, I'll have to look at them. If they're the right caps, I'll change them, but they might be. I'll have to look into that. I had not even looked close. So I was gonna give you the option. We know we got one pill down in here, okay? Or two. I say no more than two, but probably just one, because that resistor right there's been hot. All right, but since we got one pill down in there, I would be able normally just to, just to pull them out, pull the one out and fix it. But these resistors ain't blowing because they're not the right kind. I can't see no black on them, so I can't tell which one it is. So I'm gonna pull all four of these out here and test them. So you're gonna have four out anyway. While we're at that, I'm gonna give you the option, man. If you want to, we'll put eight new ones in there and be done with it. And you can keep the old ones or whatever, if there's any good left, but that's up to you. Um, it costs you more money, it's $40 a pill to change them all. It's gonna be your labor. You're gonna be looking at $40, just pull them and check them and then whatever it costs, put one pill in, but we'll go from there. I don't think it's gonna be no big, big, great, big money deal, but there will be a little expense on that if we just patch it up, fix it. We gotta fix this, right? And if I was you while I'm at it, I'm gonna take this, I put this on here, I'm gonna take this back off, ground that out. You're gonna have to listen to the fan noise because I want more air in there to get to make sure I keep it cool so you won't have no trouble, get it run longer. Of course, you know the 200 watt day key rule, 200 watts out of the eight pill. But as far as the transistors, you let me know. It'll be 40 times eight if we do them all. That's $320 to do all them. Or we can just change the one over here. It'll be like $40 labor to pull all them. And uh, I'll go ahead and change resistors. That ain't no big deal. And uh, whatever bad one will be. So it'll be $40 for that pill. So probably looking at like 80 bucks just by this side. Over here. I don't know, these brackets are 20 something dollars in the kit. I just have to figure, uh, if we just patched it up, I'm thinking you'd be in around 300, maybe, somewhere in there. Um, just a guesstimation, give or take. If you put them all in there, you'd be around 320, and then this over here, you'd probably be around 420 before it shipped back, fixing all this, so just, just a guesstimation. So it's just all what you wanna put in it, man. You know, but it'd be brand new if we do the whole 420 deal. It'd be a brand new box. Same as if you just bought another new one. But that's what it is. I, I don't even know for sure if I'm going to post this video. I might post it before your main video. Just so let everybody kind of give give everybody else an idea. Kind of what I charge, you know, if you don't mind. That's up to you. We can do this video in the front. And then do the finished video in the end. But that's up to you. I'll let the customer decide. If you don't want the front video, we'll do the end video. But I've been thinking about doing before and after videos this way people can see what they get you know you can see what you pay for this way but i'll do this video load it up 
and we'll do it private and then you can tell me what you want to do but it is your turn on the beach i'm fixing to to this so the prompt reply be nice so i know why it's on the bench because i don't want to set it aside and get in something else all right we'll get with you good evening time everybody we're back again second part of this video boy i had me some fun right here after two days of beating and pecking i about got everything going here Alrighty guys, this is the one that you know I made the first video a while ago. But first thing I did is I pulled these four transistors. They all check good. Put it back together. And uh, got to running it and it kept kicking off on me. Well come to find out, we had some bad power supplies. So I come over here and put these three in and got to running it and got to working on it. And then it kicked off again. It's making big watts. This far did anything. It's making big watts. And I thought, I thought we're ready. So I put them three in there. I went ahead and added one more. So then after that, I got to working on it. And one of them right there is completely, completely blown up, and the other two ain't put now. That's the ones that was in it. So then I come over here and added another power supply to the driver. Took care of that. So we did that. Then we got to key in and unkeying. And it kept getting hot and burning this resistor. It was oscillating. But it's just this four pill section. Nothing else was oscillating, just this four pill section only. So I went in here and changed everything that was on wire to coax, thinking I need to separate it from the input and output to make it oscillate. Done that. Hang on just a minute, my camera dirty. Pick a boob. Anyway, done that and uh, still oscillating. So I added more chokes to all the power supply wires. I left them on there, clamp on chokes, I just left them. Still oscillating. So I took all the, your, uh, Half watt 10 ohms out of there, or whatever that he had in there, and put quarter watts all in there, thinking of bad pill. No dice. Took all this capacitor out there and put a new set of 104s on the feedbacks. No dice. Oscillating. So then I keep studying on trying to figure out what it is. And this is the way oscillation goes, guys. This is what it takes to fix an oscillating box. You gotta hunt it down. So I checked all these caps, all these caps. They were good. Checked these caps, these caps, they were good. Four pill section still oscillating. I'm about to pull my hair out. I mean, like two days of work. And I still couldn't figure it out. So this went on. I got my flare out. I started watching it on my flare, which I ain't got it hooked up right now. This pill and this pill and this transistor and this transistor is getting hotter and fire. And this transistor is getting hotter and fire. And this transistor is getting hot. But it wasn't these two pills. Now, I did resolder. I didn't put these transistors in, guys. Somebody else did. But I did resolder them all for you a little bit, cleaned it up. It's not perfect, but it's a lot cleaner than what it was. Anyway, when I did the 10 ohms, I did that. I cleaned it up the best I could. It's really got too much solder on there, which don't hurt anything operating, but you know, if I was gonna put pills in it, I'd have to clean them all off. So I took his transistor out and changed it. Same thing, I'll sleep. So I'm thinking, hmm, I give up. I don't know what's wrong with it. This time I'm about ready to throw it off a cliff somewhere. <laughs> well, this is really nobody's fault. And uh, the gentleman that owns this, he had somebody else put transistors in it and had some work done on it. I mean, this ain't all my work. I cleaned it up and tried to get it back factory, but you know, it's it's had some other hands in it. So then I come back and take this pill right here out, which is right here, and put another transistor in. It stopped oscillating. So this transistor was causing oscillations. And the better way my bed is, is that this was hanging up when y'all was trying to run it. And it was drawing a crap load of amps all the time, unkeyed. And that's what killed your power supplies. That's what I'm betting on. So anyways, we got five new power, I'm sorry, four new power supplies. And I didn't have a four bracket. I didn't have these in. So I just went ahead and uh, uh, put an extra down here. Also, oh yeah, I shortened all these wires real short. You don't want them long. These are... Uh, 
these uh, power cords are just barely big enough to do the job. These things draw nine inches a piece, or can draw up to nine inches a piece. And these regular power cords are barely big enough to do the job. Matter of fact, I probably won't be using them no more. I've done some of them with them, but uh, that's why I want them short as possible, so I didn't have to carry it far. So I went ahead and drilled the holes in these like you done it, and mounted them back. Then I went ahead and this one and soldered it down. So you got four new supplies, which it takes four to run this. So then I'm there and this thing is hot, man. I mean, it's doing like 24, 2500. It's like doing big numbers. It's fixed. So I come over here and pulled your bar wire like we talked about. Put your input pad on it and put variable tuner right here and I tuned the input on the two pill. And I did this so you could run your truck rise striker. You said you had a hot truck rise striker. You start to keep your deck keys lower, but you'll be able to turn it up higher than normal. You'll see it and uh, it should hold together. I mean, don't get crazy with it, but you know, go by. Probably set the deck if you want it to last 150 out, 200 max, but run 150 out and let it swing with the striker. So you don't have no viral when you do have input tune, input pad. So she's all up and ready to go now. That's pretty much the legit of it. So this is going to be a long video. Let me put the lid back on this and everything because she's ready. And we'll do a test review. Like I said, this is a 2020 build and it's had two or three other people work on it. And not knocking them other people, I'm just saying, you know, they, they did put too much solder here. I was trying to put transition, but way too much solder on there, but that's all right. It, it ain't hurting nothing. It's cleaned up pretty decent. So, so that was your problem, man. There wasn't nothing nobody could really do about that besides hunting down because, I mean, who would have thought that transfers were tested good on the Atlas and that was causing it to oscillate the whole thing. I beat on it last night, beat on it on the Mako dummy load, on the indoor dummy load. And beat it and beat it and beat it. It don't oscillate no more. No more, no more, no more. All right, let's put it together and do a final review. All righty, guys. We're back again. Finish up this video. I did turn your fans up wide open. I took the pad off them. Um, did your pad on your input for your striker. I did fix your sideband switch. I wouldn't run this on sideband, but I didn't want to run on the amp rope. Uh, never looked at it on the striker. And my striker is not a big arm, it's a big average arm, but it does get pretty cool. So we we'll start out looking at straight the rest of the yard. Hello, oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, zero, zero, zero. Here's my striker swing, so you'll know. One, two, three, one, two, three, but another 10 average, 68, Turn it on. And yeah, with the rest of the yard, hello, one, two, three, one, two, three, zero. Look at this WR on the striker. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Get on down. Good to go. Here's our output on the inside W. Hello, striker, striker, get on down. Striker, striker, get on down. One, two, one, two. Remember, it is padded, so, you know, you might get a little more with your radio. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Pretty hot box. This is getting on up, but uh, she's all up ready to go. Go over here and go look at the other end. Dummy load, I'm sorry. Outdoor dummy load. Come on, come in. Get on down. Get on down. Blow, 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 blow. Get on down. One, two, one, two, one, two. Get on down. It stops in different places. That's the way that works. But she's all up, ready to go. Testing all the way. Do a little video of what she looks like. Should be it. This has been a job too, guys. <laughs> One more time for the bunch of guys. Alrighty, guys. Please take time to like, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. Uh, hit the little subscribe button down the right corner. corner. I'd like to invite you to join our YouTube channel members, Patreon channel members, discount cards, giveaways, check out our merch store. Guys, check us out on donkeystomber.com if you need anything. Appreciate the business and support.
Yeah, Hardly. 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 Yeah, Hardly.